when it comes to iconic places, legendary places, the first thing that comes to mind amongst a few other spots is Waimea Bay. This is the true beginning of big wave surfing. This is where big wave surfing came into its own, you know, with Eddie Aikau. You know, this is truly embodies what a true Hawaiian waterman is. You know, saving, rescuing people, and surfing giant waves and pushing the boundaries. He talked for a long, long time about the importance and the, the meaning of this wave and, and the power and the history with Eddie Aikau and all the guys pushing the limits out here of big wave surfing from the beginning, you know? It's kind of where it all started. Eddie means so much to the people of Hawaii. Eddie Aikau was a tremendous lifeguard. Eddie Aikau represented the North Shore. At one point, he was made hundreds of rescues up and down the North Shore, driving an old station wagon. The Quicksilver in memory of Eddie Aikau big wave event. This is, you know, the most prestigious, biggest event in surfing, bar none. If you win the Eddie, you're, you become legendary. You become a part of Eddie's legacy, this legend in Hawaiian history. You know, with what's being done nowadays, with the stuff at Jaws and the stuff at Mavericks and even some of the Toto stuff, the Nazare and, you know, the spot in Bellara in France, I mean, the, the, the bar has been pushed to a whole different level. And so Waimea is sort of not regarded as one of the biggest waves, you know, but when it's 28 to 25 foot, the drops as intense as anywhere. Mm -hmm. 